My name is Philip Shaw, I'm the Construction Director for Interserve here in the North West and I'm here today at the Proton Beam Facility in Manchester working for the client, the Christie NHS Foundation Trust. Interserve are currently constructing the Proton Beam Facility. It consists of four treatment rooms. One of them is being used as a research and development for the Christie but three of the rooms are treatment rooms which have a 10 metre diameter steel gantry which allows the beam to move around the patient 360 degrees and each one of them gantries weighs approximately 180 tonnes. Here we are now currently in July in 2016. We are 50% through the construction of the concrete technology rooms and we have another 12 months uh, to get the concrete technology rooms ready for equipment date which is when the particle accelerator and the PBT equipment arrives on site and begins to be installed. The PBT facility here in Manchester has been procured under the P21 Plus framework and what that promotes is early collaboration with the contractor. We've been working collaboratively here at the Christie for over eight years and delivered multiple schemes. Interserve took it upon themselves when they first were aware that the Christie was mooted as one of the potential PBT sites that we went out to the States to go and see live operational proton beam facilities. We went to go and meet American contractors so we can understand some of the key issues, some of the challenges and make sure that we included some of them lessons learned within the design and within the actual delivery of the scheme here in Manchester. One of the most complicated elements of the project is the vast amounts of concrete that we have to pour. The actual facility has over 20,000 cube of concrete. We have over 1,700 tonnes of reinforcement. We have walls which are formed in various complex geometry and we have walls up to four metres thick and even slabs six metres thick when we are around the particle accelerator. One of the biggest concrete pores is around the particle accelerator which is called the cyclotron and that's over 700 cube and 700 cube is equivalent to 90 concrete wagons. The actual cyclotron is only four metres in diameter which is the size of a family saloon car but it weighs over 250 tonnes which is the weight of a Boeing 747 and there are complex logistical challenges to actually get the cyclotron into the actual concrete technology rooms and again we are working with the vendors rigging requirements to ensure we got the methodology, we got the pore sequencing absolutely aligned with our schedule, we work within the planning constraints on site and we don't disrupt both the clinical elements of the Christie and also local residents and it's absolutely key that we ensure that we work with them to ensure that we can deliver this within their constraints. One of the successes of the project is that we've actually designed the facility to BIM Level 2. This has been absolutely essential to make sure we get everything correct and everything coordinated. Because we've got large volumes of concrete, it's essential that we get this right first time. And one of the things we did very early in the programme of works is we carried out sample panel of concrete off-site to ensure we get the correct formwork design, the correct solution in terms of suspending the conduit within the pores and to also to look at the striking time so we can recalibrate our programme to ensure we were getting the, the optimum programme and we were had absolute confidence in the delivery of this scheme. I've been involved in the project since 2009. It's a real flagship project for Interserve. I'm really proud to be involved in this once in a lifetime career opportunity to build the UK's first high energy proton beam facility and especially for a client who we've worked with collaboratively for over eight years.